Hey guys, so we're finally back with a new one. Um, we just got done with episode 3, Thirst of American Horror Story. So today we're just going to be doing a small recap before episode 4 airs on Wednesday. Now, episode 4 is titled Blood Bat Buffet. And we're going to probably get more backstory on the creation of the pills as well as there's some interesting things that I think I have that I'm going to put in the video that it's going to make you guys think. Like I said, leave the comments below and we're going to make more polls and discussion what we think the pills are not just ordinary pills. So like before in the previous video. I did mention that, you know, maybe the pills were created due to not only the government influence, but at the same time, we might start getting mermaids, if I'm not mistaken, and the, um, and the province town. So there's probably a mixture of mermaids as well as those pale creatures or probably hybrids because of the people that took the pills. Now, we're also going to break down the, um, the small trailer for the upcoming episode 4 um, episode of Bloodbath Buffet, I mean. So, we could check it out real quick and then we're going to break it down slowly, alright? Check it out. Pills create certain craziness. You want to know about the side effects? Whatever it takes. <laughs> So automatically we could definitely say that you know the chemists may be part of the government that was one of my prediction that I I started having after watching episode 3 um, I feel as if the chemist she's not only just a, a um, part of the government I think I think she has a tie with other mythological creatures such as like mermaids as well as they probably the government probably capture um even um angels there's a movie that's called um i forgot the name of it but it's something that the government were using um people to sacrifice in order for them to summon like um other creatures and then they end up seeing that there were like a bunch of different things that um was living on there so the government ended up capturing all the different mythological creatures so once i get the name of that movie i'll definitely put the link down below so you guys could know what movie it is but let's definitely look at the trailer to see let's break it down so the first thing we saw on the trailer we see that the um the chemist is creating the pills so we know that the little summary about the next episode is that um the darkness of the province town has brought to light which means that we're gonna start getting backstory on what really went down i feel as if bel noir as well as austin are very much older than how they appear because they the one that's been taking the pills especially black noir i think she was one of the original um people in the settlers and we even see that this guy started getting his hair ripped off due to probably the side effects of the pills of the people that don't have the talent and i guess that also the pills makes you kill the first victim that you probably love so remember when um alma even um austin said that you know we feed on people that are younger to get better control of our talent so bel noir said you know if if alma keep taking the pills she's gonna have to take take her out which that's the next phase in their plan instead of feeding fen midrock's character henry they're gonna end up killing the entire family as a whole 
so we understand on that part that the pills itself and understanding that Evan Peters character Austin was never the person that we see him now so we see that even in the um, trailer he is played as uh, I guess a dancer or at least a drag queen or something that after taking the pills he might switch his talent into something else so just to make a different living so I guess he was just a junkie similarly so something another that ties into I guess are they gonna tie in um, hotel into it too because Lady Gaga's character they used blood to 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 harness their power and strength so I'm not sure if that's gonna happen like I said now that um, the sheriff is dead that played um, Dina Porter so I wonder if she's gonna come back or is there a way that she's gonna come back or if it's not if this is the end of her character and I feel as if Ursula and um, Holden they're probably coming from Hollywood as well because like she said before she needs the connection of the person who did the pills so that way she could spread the news about getting more of the pills so I feel as if either it's Ursula or I feel even too like Ursula has like a telepathic type of attitude because she's not really freaked out about anything that's going on even if she's just caring about money I feel as if she has more to say compared to um, other people but like I said I feel as if mermaids or might be and in play into it because even in the prov the original thing that they were explaining about the province town and how the people got here on um, one of the badges of the um, um, Dina Porter's character we saw that she had um, 1620 on there Whereas on the post sign it says 1686. Um, so the times could be different. The times could be different. But let's just say that some people are not the exact age that we see. So it depends on how far they're going to go back into the past to explain like the pills and how it got there. Besides um, the chemist really creating the pills. Um... You know we also need to see the lurk which is the person that creates the teeth because we saw that um, the pill creatures they didn't end up sharpening the teeth they basically st literally started transforming to it so I'm thinking is it something chemical that also creates the pills besides like all the addictions and all that stuff that they told us that they mix it with like what other thing that makes the people start drinking blood and stuff like that because we know that they say they mix all the junkies like all the um cocaine and all that other stuff together to form the pills because we don't fully understand how the pills are created in the first place but like i said i feel as if even on the shots of the door we saw that the chemist house um, she has like a siren um, knock nod on the door so I'm thinking is she either a siren or another idea someone pulled up online which I I wish I could have credited them because I forgot their channel name they said that maybe Doris is a alien and that that's why she's having all these contractions because before she didn't had it so now that she's like she's getting angry and I feel as if Lyme disease is something again that she's been mentioning and the last time we saw Lyme disease was an American Horror Story season 7 cult when um, I remember when Evan Peters character and um, I forgot the Cheyenne Jackson's character um, when their parents died they put Lyme to cover the smell of the bodies so maybe she's coming from 
that town which is I think it was a Michigan or something part of um, Colt so maybe she's from that area and her coming from New York and then coming to province so maybe she's from two different places but like I said the government I feel as if has a big play into this because in the previous um, questions that they had was they wanted to create something hybrid so something that either they could survive in like a s meat suit where instead of dying they could like live hybridly so I guess the body is like transforming into their I would say their host body so that the aliens could inhabit so that's another um, prediction that I might have um, like I said, I feel as if next episode, um, I think it's going to be very promising because we need more of those backstories, especially if we saw that in the, um, trailer again, um, tuberculosis Karen, as well as Mickey, um, we saw tuberculosis Karen was very healthy and one of the shots. She was very healthy and she was just in one of the the muse, which is the bar crowd that they normally use. She was just enjoying herself before she was like a crazy junkie. We saw that she was like, she still had like her gloves that she normally wears. But, you know, I think she took some of the pills, but over time she just didn't want it anymore. Um... But I think she knows what Beryl Noir and Austin are capable of. No wonder in the first episode or two, she basically used the baby as a catalyst to get more of the um, pills. But she even cried. She said, you don't understand what Belle Noir could make me do. So if you think about it now, Belle Noir is blackmailing Mickey to, to, to now handle all the business. But still get like 10 or 5% of everything that he do. Including because now she, real, she realized that it's not only Mickey that's taking the pills. But now if anybody else gets the pills... Is basically gonna be crazy and what I feel as if the bloodbath episode is referencing is that maybe at the end of the episode Ursula managed to get all the pills and just spread it around and have more people coming to the town because if we saw um, the previous episode of of American Horror um, when they had like the aliens were being introduced and one of the trailers we saw that the aliens were explaining that we want one part human but one part us which we create hybrid and then we saw like the whole town was just being everybody was fighting it's, it, it felt like apocalypse and what I'm thinking is that's probably gonna come to play because like I said the biggest clue right now is if Ursula gets more of those pills she might go back and gives the pills to everyone else that she knows and then that way it's gonna end up being more worse for everybody else because the more people that has the pills the more bloodthirsty they're gonna be so which means everybody that that took those pills are probably gonna descend in Provincetown which that way they can't control that's why the chemist was like she liked things the way they are which is chill and she said that Ursula is just bad news because the more she knows about the pills the more she's gonna spread the idea that there's ways to go around like being talented so that way the more people that takes it so I don't even think the things are guaranteed even if you take the pills the pills sometimes only choose you only you would know if you're talented enough to take it so and I even think that Alma might be another clue as well you know so that might be a connection to asylum as well like I said guys this was some of my predictions that I think for the upcoming episode um, for bloodbath but like I said, let me know what you guys think so we could make more discussion. Um, I will be posting that video up very early soon. 
so that way you guys could start the discussion and see you guys on Wednesday like and subscribe to the channel and I can't wait to see the next upcoming episode